This movie is part of a series intended to help you understand how to use the Answer Ladies Machine Knitting Notebook, which is now actually available in two volumes. One covers standard and bulky, and one covers mid-gauge gauges. In case the books interest you, there is a link to the sales page in the program notes. The videos not only will help you learn to use the books, but show you some basic techniques that are used in the patterns in the books. Of course, these techniques may be used on other sweaters too. You may have your own favorites. And today we're going to talk about the rolled stockinette hem, one of the easiest things for beginners to use. It's cute, it's sporty, and it's easy. This is the way it's supposed to look. But to get this look, you need to knit at a really tight stitch size. This is what it looks like if you knit at the garment stitch size, much floppier and less attractive. You want to find out what is the tightest stitch size the machine will knit the yarn with nicely. And this could even have gone down another whole number. This is Premier Bloom yarn being knitted on my uh, KX350, the Brother hobby machine mid-gauge and I knitted the garment at stitch size four and liked the look of the fabric very well. I knitted my hem at stitch size one. I actually think zero would even have been superior. Any permanent cast on will do but my favorite one to use for this project is to e-wrap across the entire needle span that will be used for the front or back of the garment wherever you're making the hem. This may also be used on sleeve, so just get the entire garment piece cast on. You're going to need to use some weight, even if you generally don't. The reason is we're going to be knitting those super tight stitches. So you see sitting on my machine the cast on comb that comes with the KX350, which I find to be perfect for the job. If you don't have such a comb with your machine, and not all do, you'll need to get weight on somehow. If necessary, you can start in waist yarn and hang some weights across in the waist yarn. But here I don't need to. This will work fine hung on the cast on. Knit one row at normal stitch size, then do the drastic stitch size reduction on the dial and use about an inch worth of knitting. Now increase to the garment stitch size. Set the row counter to zero and just knit the garment. The inch worth of knitting won't actually add any net length to the garment. It will all be taken up with rolling. When I say an inch worth of fabric, I mean that you figure that based on your row gauge. This fabric is getting seven rows per inch, so I knitted seven rows for my tight stockinette curl. Because the stitch size is so small, it wouldn't truly be an inch anyway, but you will lose all of it in the tight roll. You'll be seeing this sweater again in this video series. It's also used to illustrate the funnel neck, the use of bust darts, the sleeveless top and vest pattern that is included in the book, a way to make shoulders fit more neatly, and one of my favorite armhole finishes. This is a half-size mannequin, so the size of the stitches in proportion to her body is larger than mid-gauge stitches would look on one of us. She's proportioned exactly half of the size of a normal adult woman with a 36 bust. Very good for testing out designs and demonstrations like this one. 